welcome everyone to another episode of Faye Fitness. Today we are going to continue on with our kickboxing series and learn our basic elbow strikes. So if this sounds like something you'd like to learn, stay tuned and I'll show you how. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys, I really appreciate it. Um, as you saw in the introduction, we are going to be doing a basic elbow strike. And so that's just going to involve our left and right elbows. It's going to come across uh, parallel to the floor, very much like our threes and four hits, so our left and right hooks. Um, and our footwork is going to actually be very similar too. So if you have any questions about the footwork, leave it down below or go check out my video where we talk about the three, four hooks and it can show you what to do with your feet. So if from our fighting stance, we're actually going to be doing things a little bit differently with our hands and our arms because as the name implies for an elbow strike, we actually want the point, so this part of our elbow, and maybe about an inch, inch and a half up your forearm to make contact with your opponent. And so as you can see from here, that's not really going to be very effective. So we're going to need to do some things differently. Um, first and foremost, whichever arm is going to do the striking, it needs to be parallel to the floor. So you're going to have your arm outstretched like this and forward. And then as you're actually swinging it around to make contact, you're going to bring that arm in a little bit to your chest. So you're going to, it's going to be out and then you're going to bring it in. So like that. And it's okay to exhale as you're swinging. It A reminds you to breathe and B just helps you feel the movement better. Um, so we've got our nice arm here. Now we're going to bring our right arm up to protect our face. Granted, that is leaving my abdominal cavity exposed. However, if you have to choose between protecting your stomach and protecting your head, always protect your head. Um, yes, someone can land a really painful punch on your stomach, but getting hit in the stomach may knock the wind out of you. It's not going to knock you out. If you get hit in the head, you can be knocked out. So just keep that in mind and keep your safety at the forefront. So we're having our right arm up. If you want, you can actually rest your thumb or your wrist on your forehead to help you remember to take care of your face and protect it. And just have your left hand floating below your elbow, your right elbow. Try not to have them touching like this because there are certain moves your opponent could do that could force your hand into an unnatural position and break it, or at least really hurt. Not what we wanna go for. We really wanna keep you safe and effective when you're doing this in a sparring match. So for this technique, we're just going to learn how to do basic elbows against an opponent who is your same size. So for the shadow boxing routine, just try to imagine that you're practicing with someone of your same height and build. And that'll be a lot easier and help you later on down the road when you start sparring with opponents who are of different heights. So again, we're going to have our right arm up protecting our face, our left arm over. And just like with the three, I'm gonna lean forward a little bit as my arm comes around and come over. And what you wanna visualize when you're doing this is you wanna visualize that this part of your elbow, the pointy part in this nice hard bone here, is making contact with your opponent's temple or their jaw. Ideally, you want to do the temple because that's going to cause the most damage and be the most effective. But if there's a height difference, if as you're sparring, you just can't quite get that good angle, the jaw works really well too. There's a lot of nerves here and it's going to be very unpleasant for them. So as you're coming over, just kind of imagine them. And as you'll notice, my elbow is actually going up a little bit for the actual strike. And again, if I'm fighting an opponent my same height, if I come straight over, I'm not going to hit anything. I may get the very bottom of the jaw, but I'm not actually going to get in this nice temple area. So I want to come up. So I'll do this from the side so you can see what I'm talking about. So hand either touching or just hovering above and over and over. And again, my foot, uh, my feet are doing exactly what I would be doing for a three or a left hook. So my left foot that's in front, instead of with these are my toes pointing forward, is actually pivoting to face this wall. So, again, just hit, strike, and I'll do it from this side. Strike, strike, 
perfect. So now what we're gonna do is transition to a right elbow. And to do that, we're going to bring our left arm up, but we want it in front of the face, and then my right arm is gonna come down. So they're just basically switching positions. And always try to do it in front of your face. So whatever arm was doing the striking, as it's going to that protective stance, it goes onto the inside. It just keeps things a lot more smoother. It makes sure that you're safe for as much as humanly possible. Because again, I'd rather get bumped in the chin with my own elbow than bumped in the chin with my opponent's fist. So again, just keeping you safe. And just like what we did with our number fours, we're gonna come up and over again, just up and over. And my back foot, if these are my toes pointing forward, is just going to pivot outward. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you have any questions on the footwork, leave it down below or check out my hooks video, the three, four hooks. So again, coming up and over. And as you can see, my elbow will come up a little bit and it's not just straight across. So up and over, up and over. And I'll do it from the left and the right just so you can see what I'm doing. So over, over, and then from this angle, over, over. And there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I really appreciate it. If you liked what you saw today, please hit that like button down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, this is going to be the last kickboxing video for a little bit, and I'm going to switch gears and start a self-defense series. So if this sounds like something you'd like to see, um, or if there's a specific move that you'd like to learn, please leave it in the comments down below and I will definitely take those things into consideration as I'm making this new series. So until next time, see you later guys!